welcome to the video that a majority of you tend to wait for from me by the end of the year, but we will be talking about some of my favorite album packaging as well as some of my least favorite album packaging and just kind of dissecting some of the albums that came out this year. So yes, for those who don't know, I am a graphic designer during the day, so I do like to make these videos every year where I kind of look at the album packaging that has happened over the year and we can talk about some of the bad, some of the good, and go from there. One thing I do want to state is that I only focus on albums in which I have physical copies of, so there are definitely many albums out there that probably have phenomenal packaging or probably have some terrible packaging that I won't be touching on in this video, but I would love to have the discussion with you down in the comments below if there are any albums that I don't talk about that you think are either really good, really bad, or just worth talking about. For example, I don't have Red Velvet's latest album physically on hand, but I think that the album artwork for that is absolutely stunning. Every time I see it in a K-pop store, I almost want to pick up a copy for myself, and I don't collect Red Velvet. I do listen to their music a lot though, so maybe one day I will, because honestly, it's gorgeous. I, I have probably put a picture of it up on the screen for you to see, but literally some of the most beautiful album artwork I've ever seen. So. Anyways, again, there's going to be albums that I don't touch on, but I would love to talk to you about them in the comments below. But without further ado, I'm going to move all of these things off of the camera screen and like I, I have more to talk about than just what's here. So do stay tuned. But yeah, we're going to move everything off screen and then we can talk about things one by one. So let us begin with what is probably not a secret as to what my absolute favorite album packaging of the year is. So yes, we're starting off this video with a bang. I think that Taemin's Guilty album in this box version is some of the coolest packaging of the year. I feel like for the past two years, I think Key has won my favorite album packaging and we will be talking about him later. But I literally took so long to film this video because I was waiting for this to be on hand. I had ordered it way back at the beginning of December and uh, the package in which it came was slightly delayed so I've been waiting and waiting and waiting and hoping that it would arrive before the end of the year so that I could include it in this video and it made it. So let's take a look. It is in the shape of a shoebox. It's not quite big enough in reality to be a shoebox but I believe that that was the concept that we were going with here. Now one thing is for sure is that it wasn't meant to actually be a shoe box in the sense that what most of us do with shoe boxes is we use them to keep memories and like different things inside rather than actual shoes. So let's take a quick look inside. So as you can see, we do have the actual CD, but it does look like a CD that someone would have burned or ripped or whatever you want to say and given to like their significant other so what i'm kind of getting vibe wise from this box is that it's like the memories of either a past relationship i don't think it's a current relationship i don't know why it just doesn't feel like that to me so yeah and then we have these are more of like just like standard album contents so we have like a whole bunch of track lists and lyrics on the back we have the sm ad that's irrelevant and then we have the booklet which is stunning, but what I think is so cool about this packaging is the secret compartment at the bottom of the box. So as you can see, we have a little mini poster. We have what I think are more of the memory aspects of the inclusions in this album. We have a little receipt. We have little candy or chocolate packaging. We have a single shoelace. We have an ID card. We have a bunch of photo cards, which are like random close-up shots of Taemin. We have a Polaroid photo. We have a sticker, which less memory-wise, but still works. This is what the uh, photo cards actually came in and then we have some 
photos or postcards, if you will. So again, this really does feel like just a giant box of like memories, mementos, whatever you want to call it. And I think that this album packaging is honestly genius. So I absolutely love it. I had originally purchased a different version of Taman's album first, and then I saw this version and needed to have it, especially for this video, but also because it's just superior. So now that we've talked about an album which I absolutely loved the packaging, we can talk about one in which I was not so pleased with. However, I will say that Zero Base One will have a redemption arc later in this video, but I think that there are cool aspects to both of these. I don't know if you've seen my full unboxing, but this little section here, you can actually use a blow dryer and an image will appear when enough heat is applied. However, I don't know if you can tell, but this plastic is not it. It came like this, completely bent up, and I absolutely hated that about it. Another thing that I didn't love about this packaging was how we just have every single inclusion shoved on one page, and the fact that it was in like this kind of envelope. I don't hate envelopes, but I kind of wish things were a little more evenly dispersed throughout the book because it kind of left this little you know gap now which doesn't sit quite closed anymore i will say though i love the little like cellophane pages if that's what we're calling them in the middle of this album i think those are quite stunning and a cool design choice i did not line that up properly but yeah i just don't love the idea of having everything shoved into one section and the same goes with this version was also all just kind of shoved in here and I don't know like I like envelopes I don't know if I like plastic baggy style this one also had the kind of like cellophane transparent pages which I think are a cool design element but all in all um not too happy with either of these they're not terrible and they do have cool elements but overall I think the design kind of failed on this one. Like I mentioned, Zero Base One kind of has a redemption arc and that comes with their second mini album, Melting Point. I think the overall construction of this album is pretty cool. It's not really sitting well <laughs> closed for me, but I really do love the idea of having this kind of like door style packaging that you're unlocking. I think it's a really cool, cool, cool concept. And again, I'm okay with like box packaging. Yes, it's a little bulky on the shelves, but when it's doing something cool like this, I appreciate it. As for the actual contents, nothing too crazy or different inside, but I think that the overall construction of this album is quite nice. So yes, while I didn't love their first mini in terms of packaging, music wise, it's great. In terms of packaging, I would say that this album is definitely much better. Next, let's talk about box packaging in which I do really enjoy because it's nice and small and compact, and that would be the boys' little uh, album series, I guess. We have Fantasy Part 1 and Part 2. As you can see, they are both very slim, and they are little slip covers. I love the design of them as well, the way that they have the track list on the top, but let's just open one of them. Again, though, even the photography is just stunning. So when you take it out of the little slip cover, we have both a disc or like a DVD style case, which I mean, it's all right, but I think in terms of this overall packaging, it works best. We had a little envelope, a little paper clip, like little details in this were phenomenal. And then we also have the little booklet. It is nice and small and compact, but again, the concepts are just like killing it. But I really do love how they just both fill the box perfectly and it keeps it very structured and easy to store on my shelves. And like I said, they are also both very compact and they just both fit very nicely. So I think I heard that this is meant to be a trilogy, so I do eagerly await part three so that I can have a little mini complete set on my shelves because there are more than one version per album but i only got one per but again i think they're just really stunning and then they do also release the album in a dvd format where they are member specific i do love a good member specific cover and as you can see i got hyunjae's again very minimal packaging this is basically just the exact same 
DVD packaging that we saw in the other one, but um, no slip case and no like major huge photo book. But again, if you're looking to get something that is just your member specific, I feel like this is perfect because you can add to your collection without adding too much physical space or taking away too much physical space from your shelves. Speaking of member specific versions that take up way less space on your shelves, we have some digi packs. So I know a lot of people don't love digi packs and maybe they aren't the best bang for your buck. However, if you're someone like me who doesn't collect every single version of every single album from every single artist and you want to pick and choose, Exonera Heroes is not a good example of that because I do collect everything for them. However, if you wanted to just get one album, let's say you listen to this album and you're like, oh my god, I love it, but I don't really want to get into collecting Exonera Heroes in full, you could go pick a bias and just pick up their little digipack. And I will say that the construction of these ones is really nice. They're super buttery and I just think the overall design is nice. These ones are cool because they open up in a little envelope style like so. They're very compact and they're also, I guess, kind of environmentally friendly in the sense that it's just basically all paper. So other than, I guess, the CD, but Overall, I would say that, again, if you're looking to add to your collection in a very minimal way, digipacks are great, especially when they have member-specific covers. Now, this isn't quite a digipack as it is a jewel case, and I know that we don't really love jewel cases in this house. They can crack, they are kind of awkward and clunky on a shelf. Not clunky, but, you know, they're not exactly what we want most of the time when we're buying a K-pop album, unless they're done right. And I would say that Hansei's newest album is a perfect example of a digi, or not a digi pack, of a jewel case done pretty well. I feel like mine has a little bit of dirt inside or like dust or something, but I think overall the construction of this is super cool. It's like a higher quality jewel case too. I don't know how to explain it. It just feels like it has a little more to it. It almost has like a little clasp to keep it shut. I don't know if you can tell. So if you open it up, the design of it is also really cool. And I think what he did that was super cool is having the track list as a little mini like CD shaped thing on top. So we have the lyrics and the two tracks inside. But I thought that was kind of interesting. And then of course the overall design is really cool. The pink and black is classic, but I also really love the little teddy bears all over. And then if I can take this um, booklet out for a second. You can also tell that the teddy bears are printed right on top of the jewel case, which I think is really, really cool. A wonderful design choice. And then, yeah, the overall just design in general of this entire album, I think is super cool. But Hanse is just a really cool person and can do no wrong. I love the collage style pages like this. So cute. So cool. Love it. So, yeah, this is an example, I think, of a jewel case done correctly. Now again, as we've seen over the past couple of years, there have been multiple different versions of albums that have been coming out lately, one of those being polka versions. So we have these little dinky <laughs> little boxes, but again, they, I guess, can be considered good for the environment. However, we have had the, this discussion multiple, multiple times, but I feel free to have it again in the comments below. But it is very clear that the environment is not anyone's concern and we are masking all of these different versions being environmentally friendly when really it is basically just capitalism. So anyways, we can talk about that more in the comments below. However, I will say that these are generally mostly paper. So again, recyclable, but in the long run, in the scheme of things, when companies are releasing like five different versions of an album, of a single album, are we really being environmentally friendly? <laughs> no. I don't think so. But what I did want to talk about with the two of these is in terms of construction. So Banner's album, phenomenal album, but this is very flimsy. And as you can see, it arrived to me a little bit crushed and it's unfortunate because yeah, you can just really feel that this is very flimsy. Whereas on the other hand, it could be because of this kind of sparkle effect that's going on here. This feels a lot more structured, but this is not getting bent. So I don't know what the difference is. Maybe it could just be the type of paper that was chosen. However, I will say that platform albums or polka albums in general 
again good if you want to buy an album that takes up way less room on your shelves but kind of bad in terms of inclusions and construction so do with that information what you will but again most of the time they kind of show up a little flimsy like this as opposed to this kind of cooler sparkle thicker construction next up let's talk about something really cool that i've seen no other group do before and that is eight turns limited edition album of their first mini eight turn rise so this was again like i said a limited edition and i love it i love that it comes in a little um plastic envelope baggies type thing but as you can see sorry about that i got interrupted by a phone call but like i was saying this is a limited edition version of their album and it is in the form of a wallet so if you open it up it is like a legitimate working wallet it came with some ied photos which i've left in there and uh, some other cards as well which i've also taken out there's a lot of concept cards in here and then of course we had one um, selfie photo card as well so that's also not in here anymore but like I said this is a whole functioning wallet there's even a little key ring inside it's pretty crazy and yeah I remember when I unboxed this I think for a TikTok so many people asked me where I got it from and like I literally just got it from a normal K-pop store but I think a lot of people thought that they were like or that it was an actual like wallet like that they, they could get any group in terms of a wallet you know what I mean? Like they could go to a store and get like a new jeans wallet. And uh, no, that's not the case. This is actually just their album. <laughs> so um, yeah, I'm sure you could find wallets somewhere probably on the internet, but this is an actual legit album, which I thought was pretty cool. And then in terms of obviously like listening to the music, if you wanted to, I think there's a code on the back of one of these cards here. So it's kind of like a platform album in a way or a polka album in the sense that it doesn't come with like a physical form of media to listen to the music but i think overall this is a really cool and unique way to do a limited version album and they haven't really done this for their second release and they're about to drop a third mini album and again i don't think there's any limited so i guess it was just like a special thing that they did for their first album but i love it all right so next up let's talk about omega x now again this is just very basic in terms of album construction but this is my favorite way of receiving a k-pop album i love when everything is just in a perfect little slip cover but what i really wanted to, to, to but what i really wanted to talk about is the graphic design of it so i really love black and white obviously it's like my favorite color combo for whatever reason but i think typography wise this is a really cool album like they didn't use the same typography twice or the same typeface i should say we've got serifs on this side we've got sans serifs on this side i think overall it's just really cool and then like i said super compact we can open it up just to take a quick look again the insides are very different so this one's super reflective whereas this one looks like this so again they didn't do the same thing twice which i think is really cool but i again also just really love how compact it is these fit perfectly on my shelves they're not taking up too much space and they're in my favorite color scheme and also we're just happy to have more omega x music if i must say so myself so very happy with the new album and very happy with the quality of the design all right so next up we have an album in which i'm very conflicted about because i both love and hate certain things i hate this like plastic enclosure i guess i don't have to keep it in here but if i don't this album is super white obviously and it could get very dirty um overall the design is not bad i do like the golden foliage that we've got going on i guess sticker closure never love it as you can see completely torn but then the design of this version of the album is so good so i mean these parts are well the yellow paper is kind of cool but we just have everything kind of thrown in an envelope which is never my favorite thing we have cute postcards but what i wanted to talk about were these so if you got all of the members so these are member specific versions as you can see this is tail but you could get every single member as you can see here or you could collect a few whatever you want and they have this like little hole at the top as does the booklet 
as you can see here. So firstly, the design of these, again, very collage style, which is one of my favorite things. Also just really love the like casual flash photography. I think it looks so cool. There's something about these albums that I absolutely love in terms of design and photography. However, I don't know. I don't love having an album in which I need to put together with a bolt, which I don't even know where I put the bolts. They're not in here anymore. But it's like a cool concept, but at the same time, I'm like a kind of low-key don't love it. I don't know. I'm so conflicted about this album because parts of it I really truly hate. And then other parts of it I think are cool, but maybe weren't like executed well. Not really certain. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this album. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Have you put yours together? Do you have multiple albums or multiple member versions, I should say? And have you put them together with the little bolt? I'd love to know. Does it like splay out like this? Do they actually stay shut like this? I don't know. I don't think that they would with only one bolt. I feel like you would have to have three or something. I don't know, but I'd love to know your thoughts on it. So do you love it or do you hate it? Now, when I was talking about Taman's album earlier, I did mention that Key's album packaging has been some of my favorite over the past little while. And he released two albums this year, and I want to talk about both of them for different reasons. So firstly, let's talk about Killer. Now, in terms of album construction, this one is very basic. It's just saddle stitched. Saddle stitched, for those who don't know, is the two staples holding uh, an album together. It's used in the magazine world as well. So yeah, if you ever see like a magazine that has just two staples, that is called saddle stitch. So I'm going to take out some of the things that are in the middle so we can talk about the overall design. First of all, typography, killing it. This hollow sticker, love it. The back collage style, again, love it. And the bright pinks and these colors are absolutely wild. His personal like styling in terms of makeup, uh, clothing and everything. So good. This part, love this. Everything about this album design wise is my favorite thing. I think it's so carefully curated and designed, especially like the pages like where to go. I just saw it. The pages like this, like Sometimes we just be seeing like lyrics on a white piece of paper and then you have albums like this that literally take special care with every single page. So I gotta say, I absolutely love the design of this album. And then we have Good and Great, which came out later in the year. And as you can see, it is shaped like a file folder, which I think is so cool. So it is held closed by an elastic. It is actually meant to look like, I think, a job application or as a job application would in Korea. So we do have a photo of Key on the front and then, oops, and then on the inside, we have a whole bunch of inclusions that I guess would maybe be included in an actual job application. So we have the disc, we have the SM ad, which is irrelevant. We have a little lyric book. I've been seeing a lot of saddle stitch things like this with staples that kind of have this bump in them, which I think is odd, but okay. Then we have some ID photos. We have the actual photo book. And then we have a poster, which I'm not going to undo. We have another poster, which is just like a non-folded poster. We have a confidentiality agreement and then we have his resume which i thought was really cool in terms of what it says it's not taking itself seriously at all so pause if you want to read any of these but i think this is actually hilarious and so smart so yes we love key albums in this house and how creative he is and this was no different i I feel like with every album that he drops, the design is just always so unique from one another. The concepts are always so unique from one another. And I love, love, love adding key albums to my collection. Next, I wanna talk about Blitzer's Macarena single album. This one is kind of made to look a bit like a magazine, which I think is really cool. I don't think it's a super unique concept. I think people have probably done it before. However, I do still wanna talk about it because I think it is pretty cool. The colors are pretty crazy. 
Here's the back and let's take a look at the inside. It's more of like the way the inside was done and the inclusions that I think are really cool. So obviously we have a table of contents, but it's very magazine-like. It also has things that look kind of like ads, which I think is so funny, like things like this. Like we have movie posters and uh, beverage ads. I think they really, <laughs> they really leaned into that concept of it being a magazine, which I think is so cool. So rather than it look completely editorial, it almost looks comical. I absolutely love it. And then we have, you know, more like, member profiles and things like that and then we get towards the back and there's more like unique uh moments like this for example is talking about all of his like clothing and accessories which i think is kind of cool and very magazine like and then we have this like fold out is it here yeah we have like a fold out poster thing which i thought was cool and then at the very very back we have some more ads we have a comic, we have a word, or not a word search, a crossword puzzle. We have horoscopes. So as you can see, they really, really, really did lean into the magazine concept. And I think they've done it in a very unique way for a concept that might not be super, super unique. We did also get this like, um, I don't know if it's like a little postcard or what, but it is for Lutan, who is my bias. And we get his little uh, horoscope, which I guess he's a Taurus. We have the CD, which just came in a little plastic thing. I think they could have had a little more fun with that, maybe, but whatever. Then we got this little booklet, which was the actual um, sheet music for Macarena. And then we also, I believe, got the sheet music for Question Mark. So I thought that was pretty unique in terms of, again, a magazine concept, which has probably been done before. I think they really took it to another level and made it very fun and it really suits the overall vibe of the song if you haven't listened to macarena or watched the music video please do it right now it was my top played song of the year and i absolutely love it next we're going to talk about some more box packaging and this time we have psychers both of their albums so far have used the same design in terms of album construction but they both have different concepts so this to me is giving pizza box and this to me is giving game cartridge so i'll explain here is the one that i think is giving pizza box and of course the way it opens also is giving pizza box but the inclusions and whatever don't really well they kind of lean into that like pizza theme i guess in a way but really i just wanted to talk about the box itself and then, like I said, this one's giving more game cartridge, which is pretty cool. And then again, when you open it up, um, the, the design has more like game inspiredness, which I think this also had like pizza box designs inside. But yeah, overall, I think both of these are really, really cool. And it'll be intriguing to see how long they stick with this type of concept, I'm assuming. It's just part of this House of Tricky um, era, and I don't know how long that'll last. They might have talked about it somewhere and I'm just unaware, but I'm assuming they'll keep up with this album packaging until this House of Tricky era is over. So I'm very excited to see what comes next. Just a couple more albums to talk about. The second last being Taeyong's Shalala. This is the archive version, and I think this album is super cool. It is very, it's not very small but like about the size of my hand it's thick but i would say that it is still very compact but i also really just love the overall design on the outside in terms of typography and everything this one again comes in my favorite type of packaging which is just a little slip cover but what's really cool about this album let me take the it right out um is that first of all mini cds i think these are so cool and the design of them is really cool but what's really cool about this album is they are all photos that Taeyong took himself now I'm not going to go through them all because it's a huge booklet but he's just so cute so creative and I absolutely love that we have this like book of his memories kind of ish all just kind of thrown into one I think it's so 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 stunning I know that a lot of people love this version as well so if you were looking to pick up a single version of Taeyong's album and you didn't know which one to get, I recommend the archive version. I think it's so cool, so compact, but also 
just a great collection of photos. And last but not least, we have an album that I recently picked up and I knew I wanted to include in this video, similar to the Tim and album at the very beginning. It was in a package that was kind of taking a little bit longer to get to me, but I knew I wanted to include it in here and that is Wavy's On My Youth, the diary version of the album. So as you can see, it is very much that. It looks like a diary. It even has a little hole here that you could stick like a keychain in if you wanted to. And I really love that it has a plastic like protective sleeve around it. So we open it up by the little snap closure. And as you can see, again, let me take out some of these items, but the whole album is just kind of built into this diary packaging, which I think is so beautiful. Again, typography is really cool and the inclusions themselves are really good as well. But I think overall, even the concept photos, the way it goes from like this grittier concept at the beginning to this like cleaner concept at the end so so good so i usually do buy every single version for wavy's albums and this one is by far my favorite that they've done so far like ever oh so yes there we have it those are all of the albums that i wanted to talk to you about today i hope you enjoyed and like i said if you didn't see an album that you thought had phenomenal packaging or really terrible packaging it's mostly because I probably don't own it. However, I could have also forgotten things. So I would love to talk to you about all of the albums and their packaging, what you like, what you didn't like in the comments below. So I look forward to having that conversation with you guys. And like always, thank you so, so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I wish you all a happy new year. Bye-bye.